it was narrated that a man who used to sin a lot came to the wise and righteous man Ibrahim ibn Adham. He was from the early Muslims. So he tells him, give me advice because I always sin. So Ibrahim ibn Adham then, rahimahullah, he's trying to shame him out of sinning in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, if you want to sin against Allah, then go ahead and do so. Just don't eat or drink. Don't eat from Allah's food and don't drink from the drink that he provides for you. Don't use his provision. So the man said, how can I do that when everything is provided from Allah? He said, does it make sense to sin against Allah while you're eating his food? The man says, you're right. Give me the second piece of advice. He said, if you insist on sinning against Allah while eating his food and drinking from his, his drink, then at least don't sin against him on his land. The man said, that is bigger than the first one when all the land belongs to Allah. He tells him, is it proper then that you sin against Allah while you eat his food and you do it on his land? He says, give me the third piece of advice. He said, the third piece of advice is if you're going to insist upon doing all that, then at least sin where he can't see you. And the man says, this is even greater. He says, does it make sense that you sin against Allah on his land while eating from his food that he provides and you do it right in front of him? So the man says, give me the fourth piece of advice. He said, if you still insist upon sinning after all this, then continue sinning. But when the angel of death comes to take you, tell them to wait for you until you make two rak'at and you repent to Allah Azza wa Jal. He said, the angel won't allow me. He said, then when they're commanded to throw you into the hellfire, then refuse to go with them. And he says, they won't allow me. He said, then after that, the man said, qat, qat, yani enough, enough. He had gotten his advice. He had understood the admonition. And it was said that from that day, the man went on without sinning against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.